Hi guys, and welcome back to another tutorial about one of our features. I'm Liesl from Amalyze, and today we'll be talking about our sales share tool. If you want to see what the sales share of a certain ASIN is, or if you're trying to find out which variants are doing the most sales, or you're just curious about which color and size has the highest demand, congratulations, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. To open the sales share tool, just click on sales share in your dashboard or select products in your menu and click on sales share. After opening the sales share tool, choose your preferred marketplace. In our example, we'll be using the US marketplace. And you can type in your ASINs over here. Let me show you how to find your ASINs on Amazon. Open Amazon and go to the product you'd like to get the ASIN for. In our example, our first ASIN will be from this Apple iPad. To grab the ASIN, just go to the URL and you'll see the ASIN right next to this DP slash. Copy the ASIN and go back to our tool to paste the ASIN into the filter. Our second ASIN is coming from this Samsung tablet. Just repeat the same steps as before. Go to the URL and copy your ASIN. Return to Amalyze Shield and paste this ASIN next to your other one. Now both ASINs are included in our filter. We recommend that you always enable the variants, otherwise you'll have to copy and paste all the ASINs for each variant and paste them into the filter. Just click so it slides to yes. Once you click Submit, you'll get the results for those two ASINs in your filter and for all variants as well. You'll find all the results right below your filters. Let's go over them now. The first one is the results table. You'll see those two variants displayed over here. We have the iPad and we have the Samsung tablet, but we also have some independent ASINs with no parent ASINs. Here you can see which variants of the Apple iPads are creating the most revenue. In this case, it's the silver Apple iPad. For the Samsung tablet, it's the gray one. On the left, next to the results table, you'll find the pie chart. The inner part of the pie shows you the variant, or the parent. It's easy to see that the iPad is creating more sales than the Samsung tablet. The outer parts of the pie chart will show you which variants of the parent are doing the most sales. You can also change the grouping. If you want to know which size is doing the most sales, just click on size. And as you can see, the results are adjusted automatically. Here we can see that the 256 gigabyte version of the Apple iPad is doing the most sales. After that, it's a 64 gigabyte and so on. You can also group it by brands. In our example, it would just be Apple and Samsung, and you can see that the Apple products are doing more sales than the Samsung ones. And we also have another brand here, Samsung Electronics. This means that we have some ASINs here which aren't listed under the correct brand name. And we also have some ASINs without a displayed brand name on the marketplace. That's why there isn't a brand name seen here. If you change the grouping, you'll also change the results table. In this example, if we group it by brand, the pie chart also changes. Now we have the brands in the inner parts. In our example, it's Apple and Samsung. And in the outer parts, we see the ASINs of the brands doing the most sales. All right, guys, I know this was a lot to take in, but if you'd like to know which of your ASINs and variants are doing the most sales, or which your competitors are selling the most of and are bringing in the most revenue, or if you don't know whether you should source the red or blue version of your product, our sales share tool is a must and will help you make the best decisions possible for your business. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always, happy analyzing.